Hi students, today we're going over Unit 4, Module 3, Session 1, Using Quarters. At the top it says, here is an array of quarters. Number 1 asks, what is the total amount of money in this array? Use numbers, words, or labeled sketches to explain your answer. So again, we look closely at this question, it's asking for the total amount of money. So be careful, it's not asking for the total amount of quarters, but how much money it represents. One way I look at the array is I can see up top we have four quarters, and I know four quarters equals one dollar. And so how many sets of four quarters do we have? We have one, two, three, four sets. So how much money is it? Four dollars. So you can write that showing in numbers, in words, or as a sketch to explain that the total amount is four dollars. Number two, use the array to help solve these multiplication problems. So how am I to solve these multiplication problems? By using the array. So don't try to do any other strategy besides using the array. So looking at the first one, four times 25. So four times 25 cents each. So I look up here at the array and I count one, two, three, four times 25 equals a dollar. But now here, it's going to be 100. Because if you notice here, the 25 is not 25 cents. It doesn't say four times 25 cents. Because the answer to that would equal one or one whole dollar. Instead, the question's asking four times 25, 25 holes, not 25 hundredths, but instead 25 holes. So the answer is 100. Looking at B, 10 times 25, 10 quarters, 10 times 25 equals 250. Or well, we know 10 quarters is $2.50. C, 6 times 25 would be $1.50, correct? If I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's $1.50. So if 6 times 25 cents equals $1.50, then 6 times 25 equals 150. D asks 12 times 25. So I look up at the array and I think 4 plus four is eight, plus four is 12. So 12 times 25 cents would equal $3. So 12 times 25 equals 300. Eight times 25, we can count four and eight. Eight quarters is $2. Therefore, eight times 25 is 200. And last we see 14 times 25 and so I know that 12 was $3. So I add two more quarters, that's $3.50. So the answer would be $3.50. Let's look down to number three. It asks, Rosie says she can solve 24 times 25 using the information above. Do you agree with her? Why or why not? And so our answer here would be we could think of it as many many different ways one way i think about it is i see oh i have 14 times 25 and 10 times 25 so i can think 14 times 25 is 350 plus 10 times 25 is just 250 and therefore the answer would be 600. but there are other ways that you can think about this problem as well 24 times 25 perhaps you can think 12 times 25 doubled. But overall, I would say yes, I agree with Rosie that you can solve 24 times 25 using this information. That you're going to write it down in your own words. Moving on to number four, use what you know about adding and multiplying money to help solve the multiplication problems below. The example says 25 times 36 equals 900. I know there are four 25s and 100, four quarters and a dollar, 36 is equal to nine groups of four, so 36 times 25 is like nine times 100. 
So using that same thinking, let's look at A, 25 times 24. Isn't that just the problem we had on number three? Yes, it is. And so what did we say the answer was? 600. Let's look at B, 25 times 32. So I know 32 is eight groups of four. So I can really think of this as eight times 100, which equals 800. C, 25 times 40. I look at 40 and I ask myself, how many groups of four is in 40? So one more time, let's ask that question. How many groups of four is in 40? That's right, 10 groups of four. So I can rethink this problem as 10 times 100, 100 times 10. And what does 100 times 10 equal? 1,000 is correct. Looking at D, I ask myself, how many groups of four is in 34? And so I know my four, my four multiplication facts, and so I know it's four times eight is 32, four times nine is 36, so it's not quite an exact. I know it's eight and a half, eight and a half groups. So I can think of as eight and a half times 100. So what would eight and a half times 100 be? That's right, 850. Let's look at E, 50 times two, I think 50 doubled. 50 doubled is 100. 50 times 16. And so here I'm thinking what's half of 16? That is eight. And so I think eight times 100, which is 800. Let's look at 50 times 24. What's half of 24? 12. So what do I think of this as? 12 times 100, which is 1200. Looking at H, 50 times 32, what's half of 32? 16. 16 times 100 is 1600, also known as 1,600. I, 50 times 33, what's half of 33? It's not a whole number, right? We have to go to a decimal. Half of 30 is 15, half of three is one and a half. 15 plus one and a half is 16 and a half. So I take 16 and a half times 100, and what do I get? 1,650 is correct. 50 times 17? Half of 17 is eight and a half. Eight and a half times 100 is 850. 75 times two, I think 75 doubled, which is 150. 75 times 16. So here I can think, what is one fourth of 16 is four. Four times four is 16. And so now what's three fourths of 16? would be 12. And so I think 12 times 100 is 1,200. Let's try the challenge ones. M, 100 times 25 hundredths. And so I think about the digits moving in place value two places because I know for every place value you move, it's either 10 less or 10 more. And so 100 is 10 times 10, so we're moving two place values. And so the answer is going to be 25. Looking at N, 600 times 25. So I can think it has money, 600 times four, 600 quarters would be what? Well, so I think how many groups of four is in 600? I know 4 times 10 is 40, 4 times 5 is 20, 40 plus 20 equals 60, so 10, so 15, okay, so 15 groups of 4 in 600, so 15 times 100 equals 150. Looking at O, 240 times 75 cents. So 240 is how many groups of four? 
60 groups of 4, or 1 fourth of 240 is 60. So what's 3 fourths of 240? 180. And then 30, 360 times 75 cents. Similar thinking as the last one. 36, how many groups of fours in 36? That's right, nine. So we think 90, well we can't just think 90, we have to think because it's times 75 cents instead of 25 cents. And so we can't think, we can't think just 90 as the answer. Instead, we have to take that three times because how many quarters are in 75 cents? That's right, three quarters. 3 times 90 is 270. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if the challenge questions are difficult for you, that's okay. That's why we it's a challenge. We challenge our brains to think a little bit differently. And that's all for today.